All right, so in the last video, we just finished talking about the red dragon stone, which everyone gets for free. But in this video, I want to quickly help out my pay to play players out there by going through the purple dragon stone selection and uh, giving you guys my personal opinions about the best units to choose from here. And like I said, this is for the pay to play players because you can't actually get any purple dragon stones unless you purchase the 100 stone pack in the stone shop that comes with a purple stone and there are a total of three available for purchase so uh with all that said let's jump right into it and the way this works in case you weren't aware is that the units are broken down into three different i guess tiers depending on how many stones you want to spend and if you want to spend three purple dragon stones you can get a lr and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 LRs available. And they also come with two extra characters each, which you guys can see here. And then for two purple dragon stones, you can purchase a Dokkan Fest category lead along with one extra unit. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, category leads available for two stones. And then for one stone, you get either a 120 lead or uh, one of these other, I'm not sure what to call them, but uh, you get either Jose or Vegito Blue or one stone. Okay, so in total, we got something like, you know, 30-ish units to choose from. And, uh, you know, if you only want to purchase one pack, then you're only going to be able to pick one of these guys. If you want to purchase two packs for two stones, then you can also pick one of the you know, category leads. And then if you have three stones, you can potentially pick an LR. Now, in my opinion, the best value here actually will be in the one stone selection, okay? Because a lot of these units now have Extreme Z Awakenings, and some of these Extreme Z Awakenings are absolutely incredible, guys, okay? So even if you have three stones, if you're missing a lot of these you know, 120 leads with their easy A's, I feel like it makes more sense to really go for three, you know, 120 leads with one stone each, as opposed to getting one of the LRs or category leads, you know? But why don't we start with a few units that I feel like are just no-brainers. Like if you have the stones available and you also don't have these units, then you kind of have to go for them, okay? So the first no-brainer, the first super easy choice is uh, this guy right here, STRLR Broly. I mean, his Extreme Z Awakening is just bonkers, man. Like, they did not hold back with this guy, and uh, he's just so incredibly, incredibly useful for so many things in this game, too. Like, obviously, World Tournament, he's the king, right? But if you want to throw him on a Super Battle Road team, he wrecks Super Battle Road, man. That attack all, the double supers, sometimes even triple supers, depending on if you have any dupes or skill orbs in him. He just destroys everything, like literally. So, uh, yeah, STR Broly. Now, one thing to keep in mind, of course, is that his Extreme Z battle event is quite hard. Okay, so if you don't have the team for his, for his Extreme Z battle you might not be able to fully Extreme Z Awaken him for a while, so you won't be able to get the most out of him, I guess, so definitely keep that in mind. But dude, like, once he Extreme Z Awakens, he is just so ridiculous, man. He really is so, so powerful. So, um, at the top of my list is STR Broly. Okay, like, obviously three coins, or not coins, three stones is a lot, so that's going to be a pretty significant investment, but for anybody that was already going to buy the stones anyways, you have the extra purple dragon stones to use, right? So I would definitely consider this guy heavily. And then some other no-brainers, of course, we got the UI Goku, who's about to get an Extreme Z Awakening in part two of the anniversary. So in about a week and a half from now. And uh, I mean, his Extreme Z Awakening is very, very powerful. It's very, very good. I mean, if you look at the pre-Awaken form or the pre- transformed form, I guess. He gets 150 attack and defense, and then awakens uh, when HP is 50% or below, but he also stacks attack and defense. So in longer events, this guy becomes a monster. And then once he goes 
uh, mastered Ultra Instinct, he gets he plus three attack. Wait, hold on. Extreme Z Awakening. He gets he plus three attack plus two hundred percent defense plus one hundred percent. Great chance of evading enemies' attacks. Disables enemies' guard and also guaranteed evades for the first turn after Awakening. And he also gets some insane stats, man. With the Extreme Z Awakening, he gets up to twenty thousand attack, twelve thousand seven hundred defense. Um, just a just a beast of a unit, man. Really, really powerful. So if you guys don't have into by Goku, also a very, very clear choice, a very easy choice in my opinion, if you decide to go for something in the two stone range. And then for one stone, dude, I mean, this guy doesn't have his EZA on global yet, but trust me, you want to have him, okay? If his cooler with his EZA, and he should be Extreme Z Awakening on global within the next couple of, couple of months, so you don't have to wait that long. But man, his Extreme Z Awakening is just something else, man. It's not really too fancy, you know, it's not really that, like, unique. But he just gets so much attack and defense, you know? Like, once he's fully built up, he gets up to 296% attack and defense. And he's attacking multiple, multiple times per turn, you know? So it doesn't take that long to build him up. Um... Very, very powerful. Yeah, so Fizz Cooler, easy choice. Uh, you guys have seen STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku in action at this point. I'm getting mine up to like 6.5 million attack um, on a regular basis, or at least over 6 million pretty, pretty easily, right? So this guy's a beast. Um, crazy attack, very good defense. Same thing with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Crazy attack, not as good as Goku, but still very, very good, man. Good attack, great defense. And, uh, is there anything else here? Oh, also Vegito Blue! Of course! How can I forget about Fizz Vegito Blue, man? Fizz Vegito Blue, I think, slightly forgotten? Not not really forgotten, but I don't think people, like, value him as high as he should be, you know, at this point, because it's been a while since he got that easy A. But, dude, this, this, this guy is still top, top tier, man. Don't forget about Fizz Vegito Blue. So, these guys all cost one stone each. Vegito Blue, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, is cooler. I mean, if you don't have them, as I said, it's a no-brainer. It's a very, very easy choice to go for one of these 120 leads, or maybe three of them, you know? Or this guy, of course, which is not a 120 lead, but he's also one stone, so... Um, yeah, yeah, go for these guys if you don't have them. And uh, aside from that, a few other standouts, I think LR Bojack, out of all of the you know, on Extreme Z Awaken LRs in the selection has aged very well, uh, especially if you have STR transforming Bojack. Now, if you don't have STR Bojack, it's not as appealing, right? Because he's not going to be nearly as good, in my opinion. But if you have Bojack, especially if you have this guy link leveled with Big Bad Bosses at level 10, if you link him up with the STR Bojack, this guy's putting up some really, really crazy numbers and getting some very high defense. So Bojack with STR Cooler is definitely a good consideration. And then we also have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, who is um, going to be Extreme Z Awakening soon. On Global, I would say within the next like three months, he will get an easy A. On JP, he already has an easy A, right? And even though, even though people are not like that high on the easy A, I do agree they could have done more with him. But they gave him exactly, I feel like, what he needed, which is defense, right? They gave him, uh, you know, 58% defense, additional 58% defense, so super attacking. And before, this guy just had no defense to speak of. So, I, I don't know, man. Like, he still hits very hard. He maybe doesn't hit as hard as people want him to hit. But I, I think with the EZA, he's very, very good. So, definitely another one to consider, but he's not going to be as good right now. Because, once again... He doesn't have the EZA yet, right? And uh, a few others here. You could go for the LR Beerus if you need him because uh, he hits really hard. <laughs> that, that, that's the main thing. He hits really, really hard. His defense is not terrible. It's not great. But he'll hold his own at least on like the Dokkan events for sure. Um, on Super Bad Road, you do have to be careful with him, of course. But uh, his damage is like very, very impressive, right? Even, even to this day. And we also have the Fizz Super Vegito with the counters, the damage reduction. Um, 
you know, still a good unit, but I guess a little bit outdated at this point. I mean, most of the category leads are outdated. Most of them do need these yays, so I don't really recommend many of them. The uh, Turles here is one that I would I would recommend. Talking too fast right now. I would recommend just because of his great support, right? He gives all allies keep plus three and attack plus 40%, and he's also on a number of very good teams like Movie Bosses, Pure Saints, Terrifying Conquerors, uh, Final Trump Card, Space Traveling Warriors. So, you know, if you need a good support for one of those categories, then this Turlis is still going to be a good bet. And, you know, we got Fizz Android 17, who I think is a great support unit. Key plus 3, defense plus 60% for allies. Uh, reduces damage received by 40% when HP is 77% or below. I think he's still a solid unit. Obviously not amazing anymore but um one thing actually i will say is he's going to be featured in the upcoming dual dokkan fest so wait until you do your summons first before you potentially buy this guy because uh like i said many could pull him in the dual dokkan fest and that would suck right and uh of course some other considerations here too man and these guys are not as i don't view them as highly as the other like one stone units but they're still great picks if you don't have them. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, uh, AGL Super 17, and Super Gogeta. And that essentially would be kind of my go-tos. Um, if I were to rank them, I would definitely you know, focus on Broly first for the LRs, focus on this guy for the category leads, and then uh, probably in order, I would probably put Cooler a little bit further back just because he doesn't have his easy A yet, right? But I would go... But uh, Goku first, then Vegeta, then Vegito Blue. Oh, that's a tough call, actually. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I would order these guys. I would probably go Goku, Vegeta, and then Vegito at this point. It's tough, though. I don't know, man. Like, they're all so good. Um, and then I'd probably put Cooler fourth just because, you know, he doesn't have the Extreme Z Awakening yet, so he can't really help you immediately. Whereas these guys already have their easy A's. Um, but yeah, when Cooler awakens, he might be at the top of this list, you know what I mean? And then after that, I would, you know, potentially pick one of these guys if you don't need the other guys and, uh, still, still want to buy something with your purple Dragonstone. Um, but as I said at the beginning of this video, I feel like in terms of value, the one stone selection the one stone units is really where most of the value is it, it lies you know in the selection like okay you can get cooler or sorry not cooler you can get um broly for for three stones but wouldn't you rather have three top tier monsters in super saiyan 4 goku vegeta and cooler or maybe goku vegeta and vegeto blue or even uh you know gogeta or 17 uh, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly, I'm not a big fan of, you guys know this, uh, he, uh, he unfortunately was the first 120 lead, and they, I guess, were just figuring their things out, and he just isn't really that impressive, but, um, even Kid Buu is good, even Janemba's good, like, none of these 120 leads are really bad picks, um, even, like, this guy right here, we don't know exactly what he's gonna do with his Extreme Z Awakening, but it's coming soon. We'll probably find out the details within a couple of days. So maybe wait a little bit to see how good his EZA is. I'm sure it's going to be very, very good though. So he might not be a bad pick either. Um, but there you go, guys. That's my advice. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit in uh, making your choices. Of course, another thing to consider are the extra units that come with them. Um, and out of these ones, I would say the units that have the best bonus units, like the best extra characters... Probably, uh, I mean, the ones that come with Broly are not bad. Very good support unit in Paragus, and then an extremely just good EZA unit for the Wrathful Broly. Um, the Android duo is pretty solid. These kids are not bad, but they're not as good as the uh, AGL Goten and Fizz Trunks. And then this AGL Tapion is very good with his EZA, but right now I wouldn't go for Super Saiyan 3 Goku just because he's not very good you know he needs an easy a for sure and uh oh the blue boys the blue boys are very very powerful or at least very useful um who else i mean supreme kai is good uh fit boo is good 
Uh, the Boo Piccolo is good. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Video's going a little bit long. My bad. I didn't mean to talk so much, but you guys know that happens sometimes when I'm just like trying to get all my thoughts out. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. Good luck in your selections. Let me know in the comments down below who you end up picking with your purple dragon stones. And uh, I guess that's it. As always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.